morning, Monday the 9th of September, coming home from the Lake Districts on the Calvert Trust 2019 Amputation Foundation Weekend Challenge. It has been an absolute storming time. I've got Damien with me. All right, here. everyone. Um, <laughs> it looks like death one done this morning. <laughs> the late um, night last night. We were just talking about the things, what we've benefited, what we've gained, what we've learned and so on. So, what's your take on it, Pam? Uh, another amazing weekend, I think. It was, it's, it's hard work, um, but everybody mucks in. Um, when we meet everybody at the beginning of the weekend, we tell them that it's very laid back, very chilled weekend. You can do as much or as little as you want, but if you throw yourself into all the activities, um, you get as much out as you put in, and everyone to a man. Um, what strikes you as like, the warmest moment? What got you? Just seeing the camaraderie between everybody at the end of the day. Um, these were all strangers who turned up on Friday, didn't know each other from Adam, and then by the end of the Saturday night, it was like they were all, it was all it was school reunion and everybody was laughing and joking. And just sort of, from my perspective, it was just sitting back and seeing just how much people were enjoying and growing from the experience. Personally, I thought the best bit was when you were dangling for dear life on them ropes with your leg hanging off in the air screaming like a little girl. I thought that was absolutely yeah, sensational. That was certainly one of my high uh, <laughs> low lights. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for yeah. reminding me. Oh, thanks for videoing it as well. Oh, yeah, yeah no yeah. problem. So, we're going to probably knock together a little montage of photographs and we'll stick it on. Yeah. Amputation Foundation, this has been unique in generating energy, positive outcomes, people are walking, they, 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 can, they can climb a mountain now, um, so it's, in future it's got to happen again, we've got to help raising funds and uh, make yeah, sure it does happen. Definitely happen again, hopefully bigger and better next time, uh, we, went, we had 18 people last year, the first time we'd done it, uh, and that was amazing, so we doubled the amount of people who came this year, so there was 36 of us this time and it was double the atmosphere it was absolutely fabulous and that goes down to everybody who's just sort of got on with it and joined in and mucked in and had a go yeah. we've had quad amputees on the 30 foot high five yeah. 35 foot high 20 stone <laughs> yeah. yeah and yeah. that was just it's just humbling to see to be honest but they went for it and they did it and it's just stunning and then seeing people grow from the nervous little people that they are to turn yeah. up because it's quite daunting and intimidating when people turn up they don't know anybody and then seeing them bloom and blossom over the course of the weekend. So you've got from 30 odd strangers to 30 odd associates, 30 odd f friends, yeah. buddies, counsellors, yeah. confidants, Absolutely. supporters, so, uh, and yeah. then leaving as soulmates. Yeah. Yeah, and it was good to see people from last year coming back and just seeing how much they continue to grow from last year's events. Um, there was a few people, and it's just they're unrecognisable in a very positive way from the people that turned up on that first Friday last year yeah. and it, it's just heartwarming to see so it makes me feel like we're doing something good and we're doing something that people enjoy and it'll benefit them all so hopefully these ripple effects will start turning into a bit of a wave and to everybody anybody who was on the trip with us thank you yeah. you everyone's inspired me yeah Andy, thank you very much great. yeah okay cheers amputation foundation donate yeah. <laughs>